right? There's a lot of hype about AI now, and that's coming from these very big tech companies and uh, there are a lot of problems with it. And if you look at there's just a lot of problems with the big tech companies that we're largely not addressing, right? They're, you know, they've, they've managed pretty much to avoid regulation. And if you think about, you know, what, what would driving be like if we didn't have regulation? What would eating food be like or taking medicine be like if we didn't have regulation? But for computing, which is a huge part of everybody's life, we basically have no regulation. So I think that's enormous problem. And now all of a sudden everybody says, look at all these things ChatGPT can do or Gemini can do or Claude can do or whatever. Obviously we will, you know, we're bound to have human level intelligence any day now. And I, I think that that's just fundamentally mis either misunderstanding or misrepresenting. I think you get some of each of how these systems work. It seems pretty clear that we won't get anything approaching human level intelligence until there are a few more breakthroughs and we don't know what those are going to be. And some people say, yeah, but you know, we just had a big breakthrough, so, so we'll have another one soon. And you know, I'm, I'm of the form, well, there's this thing called regression to the mean. If you've just had something that's better than normal progress, but you should expect to see this level of progress get slower again because it's been above the normal, so it should return to normal and it'll get slower again. But the, all the valuations of these AI, AI companies are, are not based on that idea. They're based on the idea that it will get faster and faster and, and improve very rapidly. And I'm, I, I chose to divest myself of that part of the stock market because I, I think they will eventually find out that that's not true.